and welcome to the episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we are going to be doing a test with the FTS, the 5.0 Tacticam, and the Tacticam 6.0. So that's all I'm going to be doing today. I'm not worried about being, well, I won't be on target, but we're just going to be shooting some arrows down range, and then we're going to go back in, look at some video and uh, discuss it so um, but before we do that remember hit that subscribe button down below give these videos a thumbs up hit that all notifications hit that share button with your family friends and your enemy and leave me a comment I really appreciate it okay like I said we're going to be testing our tacticams cams today and I hate timeouts um, doing some um, the video and I got this one on this one here we go. so yeah the timeouts are kind of a pain in the butt but the thing with these tacky cams using the pads I have to use my iPad uh, I'm controlling my iPad is controlling the 5.0 and my iPod is controlling my Tacticam over there so yeah it's uh, kind of a pain when you're doing using that I am going to be looking at getting um, the remote so I can control both of them but I'm still going to have that timeout problem. Nothing I can do about that. Um, I mean, it's, it is what it is. And I, I'm, I can't find I'm, the uh, spot where you can time, adjust the timeout. But it's like about two minutes it times out. That's the only drawback that I have. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to be testing the Tacticam 5.0 on the FTS, the Tacticam 6.0. Okay, so let's get both of them started here. Start that one. And start that one. Okay. Let's take a shot. I'm at 60 yards. Okay. So you can see we're back inside. I made a few changes here and there. I was going to do all five shots, but when I got back to look at the videos, you know, like, it's the same thing. Just repeat it several times. So um, we're just going to do a couple of each. The Tadgy Cam 6.5 and the uh, FTS with the uh, Tacticon 5.0. So we'll just do a couple of those and uh, call it a day. How's that sound? All right. So here is going to be the first shot with the uh, Tacticam 6.0. And as you can see here, the color is just fantastic. I really like the color and the way it shows up. Uh, I got to be back a little bit further, I think, with the, and make a few adjustments here. But overall, I think uh, it's a pretty good shot uh, where I got going. It's got adjusted a little bit. Um, no big deal. Uh, but uh, you guys see the color is just fantastic here. Just like in here. Again, same shot. That's why I, that's why I decided just to um, do just a couple of each. Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, not the re most exciting stuff to sit there and watch time and time again. So, again, I just made some changes here. But you can see the color of the Tacticam 5.0 or 6.0, which I got kind of mounted here on my tripod here. Um, yeah, I mean, it, uh, it works. But I need to really find another way. 
prefer to get it on here, um, but right now it's on the handle. I can handle that, no problem. It's a small tripod to carry around with. So yeah, we can work with that. So let's move on to FTS 6, 6.5. Okay, here we go. Um, it looks a ton better. Um, but again, I'm shooting through the scope, so we're going to have that dark ring around the outside. Uh, I can see my reticles pretty good here. Um, probably make a few more minor adjustments on it. Um, but as you see, as we take, you can see where the shot landed. I'm thinking I'm going to have to adjust my scope a little bit because I think the FTS is throwing it off just a little bit. And here's another shot. Um, same thing. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get adjusted to. I think my um, radical needs to be just a little more level there because uh, that's how I'm, again, I'm shooting through the FTS. So it, uh, but guys, so I'm, I'm thinking I got to make a fine tuning adjustments, uh, with the, with the scope and with the FTS six, the 5.0 that's on there. But overall, I think it's going to work out pretty doggone good. Um, like I said, the slow motion one is not going to work. Um, that video is so bad. I didn't even want to show it. Because, uh, again, it's like an oblong eyeball type going through there. And it just didn't look good. Didn't look good at all. Uh, but with this, I think once I get some light and knocks, uh, we'll be able to see it more clearly. So, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, that they're going to have to go back to, I say, to the drawing board. But I'm going to go back to 20. 30, 40, or say 20, 40, and 60 yards to make sure everything is good shooting through that uh, FTS scope. Oh, I don't know why I call it FTS scope. The FTS video portion. Because um, I think, like I said, it looks like it was, you know, again, when you go back and look at it, um, it looks a little, I don't know if my mouse is coming up on there or not. But if you look here, it doesn't really look quite level. Because I'm thinking that's what, because I was shooting up over here. Let me go ahead and pause it a second. I'm shooting to the right over here just a little bit. As you'll see, uh, the arrow. Okay. Arrow is right about there. And again, I, I don't know if my mouse is showing up on the screen or not. I don't know. I hope it is. But uh, but it's right over in here. All my shots, like here, and here, and here, were all to the right. Not bad. I mean, it it uh, they weren't they weren't kill shots, but they were uh, just off to there a little bit. So. A little more work to do. Uh, plenty of time. It's getting cold outside. I've actually should have taken this off. It's kind of warm inside, and but outside is really cool, especially in the shade. So, yeah, that's what I got for you right now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give these videos a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below there, and uh, see you on the next episode. Of Utah crossbow hunter, and remember. Family first. Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. I already said that one. Stand by. Anyways, remember these episodes are dedicated to my son. And like always, thank you for watching and have a great day.